And I'm answering a question today that I get asked quite a lot. Hey Dave, can I uh, use the sharpening inside of Topaz Denoise AI to sharpen my images? And my answer is yes and no. And what I mean by that is, if your image is sharp out of camera, by all means, you can use Denoise AI. And I'll show you that in this tutorial today, how well it really works. But if you are having issues like you had some camera movement or you kind of missed the focus a little bit on your camera, this will not help you. But Sharpen AI will take care of those issues for you and it does an amazing job. We're going today use Denoise AI. We're gonna denoise these images and we're also going to sharpen them. Without any further ado, let's get started. So here is our first image right out of Lightroom. Just some basic adjustments on it. No noise reduction, no sharpening whatsoever. I went ahead and duplicated the background layer and called it Denoise AI. Now we're going to go ahead and launch uh, Topaz Denoise AI and we'll get started. And here we are inside of Topaz Denoise AI. Now, if we come up here to view, you'll notice you have different views. Single view, split view, and side-by-side -side view. I'm in the side-by-side -side view mode because I really like that. I can see the images side by side. Now the image on the left is the original and see that on the bottom left it says original and the image on the right if you look at the bottom left of this uh, screen here it says preview. Okay so this is the after and this is the before and we have two different models in here. We have Denoise AI and AI Clear. Now AI Clear is a really good model. It's basically, I think, the same engine they're using inside of Topaz Studio 2, which is really good. But this is Denoise AI, so I figure let's use the best that uh, this uh, piece of software has to offer. And that would be the Denoise AI model. And in the auto detect mode, it choose to remove noise at 6 and sharpen at 42. Now this image is ISO uh, 1250. Let's go to an area where we can really see the noise. Let's look on the left here, and you'll see that there. And let's go ahead and let's zoom in to say like 200% so we can really see that noise. And see that noise there? And look to the right, it is totally gone. So that's nice. Let's go back out to a 100% zoom. If you look up here in the navigator window, window, see that little square there? You can move that around to any part of the image that you want. Now let's just move right here, and it'll update itself. And there's no noise and the sharpening is good because remember this image was totally, it was sharp right out of camera. So it doesn't really need sharpen AI because there's no um, camera movement issues or any soft focus issues due to me missing the focus. So if you have an image that is relatively sharp right out of camera, all you need is Denoise AI and it'll get the job done for you. In the auto mode, I think that looks really good. If I wanted a little bit more sharpening, see right here where it says sharpen, just drag the slider to the right. I'll just drag it a little bit and see what kind of result I get. Yeah, and I don't want to go over sharp, especially on the baby's face. So I just might back it off just a tiny wee bit. And that looks really nice, so I'm just going to go ahead and click apply and that'll send us back into Photoshop. Now we're back in Photoshop with a denoised and sharpened image, all using Topaz Denoise AI. So let's go ahead and zoom into this image here and really do some pixel peeping here. So look at the little baby's face. It's my little grandchild, Jacob, and my wife is holding him. And as you can see, there's no noise. Now let me shut this Denoise AI layer off. Here's the original. So you can see that noise in there, right? Look at all that noise in there. And here is the after, after denoise AI. Sharpened and denoised, a beautiful result. And now let's move on to our next image right here. This is an image of Pittsburgh I shot in the evening hours. This was ISO 2500, so relatively high ISO. And so let's go ahead and zoom into this guy here and take a look. As you can see, there is a lot of noise in there. Tons of noise in this image here. But it is relatively sharp, so I can get away with uh, Denoise AI for sharpening. So I've already duplicated the background layer and named it Denoise AI. We're just going to go ahead and launch Denoise AI and we'll get started. Here we are inside of Denoise AI and I'm still using the Denoise AI model. Auto detect settings is on as well as auto update. And so this is the normal mode right here. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of noise still in there. Now I could take this remove noise and bump that up a little bit and it'll update itself. 
and it does a really nice job. Now let's go back to auto detect because I want to show you something really cool. See that little bit of noise in there, but watch when I click on low light mode for high ISO images. A much better result. Gets rid of the noise, but it leaves more detail in the image. If you look at the trees here, like check it out compared to the regular mode right here. You can see noise here, but watch when I bump the remove noise up. It can get a little soft in here, right? Even with that uh, increased remove noise there, let me put it into low light mode and I'll show you. You'll still see detail in here. See how the detail is still here in the trees? And that's a little too much, so I might just back it off a little bit. But I love this uh, low light mode. It's amazing. Now, there's also a nice feature here. If you're having trouble seeing your noise, see where it says bright. And if you click on this, it'll lighten your image up. So it'll help you see the noise better in the image. So I'm just going to shut that off. Let's drag this around to different parts of the image here. It'll update itself. You know what? I think I could definitely use some more sharpening here. So I'm going to give it more sharpening. I'm going to pull it way up and see what kind of results I get. Yeah, this image will take it. I'll even take it up to 90 here and see what we get. That looks really nice. Let's find some other parts. Let it update itself. Yeah, that's looking nice. And let's come over to this building here. I could never get this image to look right. When I used Lightroom uh, denoising, it would look too smooth. But look at all the nice detail that I have in this building here. And I might just give it a little bit more noise reduction because you can see just a slight amount of noise in a building, but look at that, it cleans it right up. I'm happy, I'm gonna click apply. Now that we're back in Photoshop, let's go ahead and zoom in and just take a look at our results. So this is the denoised and sharpened version using Denoise AI. Now here's the before. Let's really zoom in so you can see the noise. There's the before and there's the after. Noise cleaned up, but look at all that detail in the trees that's still there did a great job and we can uh, look around different parts of the image here and I'm zoomed way in but here is the before look at all that noise in there like I said Lightroom could not help me get rid of this noise it got rid of the noise all right but I lost all my details this got all smooth in here but now I can use this image it's no longer a throwaway image I mean Topaz has saved me so many images that I would have just had to throw away. So I got to thank you for that, Topaz. On to the next image. Our next image here is a flower image. It's ISO 1000, so it's not what I would call really high noise. It's, it's getting into the higher area, but let's zoom in and you can see it. There's definitely noise in there. But if you'll notice, it's relatively sharp right out of camera. So I can get away with Denoise AI and I don't have to really use Sharpen AI on it. Because that engine inside of Denoise AI for sharpening is really works really well for just sharpening your image. So you can see, it's, it's really, really pretty sharp. So Denoise AI will get the job done. So now let's go ahead and launch Topaz Denoise AI and get started. I'm still in the auto detect settings and auto update preview is checked on. The image on the left is the original. The image on the right will be the after noise reduction and sharpening. Let's go ahead and zoom into uh, 200% because like I said, this doesn't have super high noise in it. But that's the auto mode. As you can see, the noise on the left and on the right, it's totally gone. And, and the noise level it picked was a 1. Maybe I'll bump that to a 2 or a 3 and let it update itself looks good let me take my sharpening and it shows a 44 let me take it up even higher maybe even a little higher that might be too much maybe somewhere right around in there that looks good let me go back to a hundred percent excellent I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and send it back into Photoshop let's go ahead and zoom in and take a look so here we go. So I'm zoomed in pretty far here. So here is the before. And see that noise in there? You can really see the noise if I come way in here. Look in this area right in here. Here's the after. Look at the job it does. It's truly amazing. I know you probably get tired of hearing me saying that, but it is amazing. 
Okay, so there's the after. Here's the before and here's the after. So really nice results. On to the next image. This is actually our final image. This is a shot I took of my daughter and her husband and used a, uh, I think it was like a 200 millimeter zoom with a pretty shallow depth of field on it. So I'm getting that nice bokeh background there, which I really enjoy. ISO 1250, so a decent amount of noise, not over the top noise. Let's zoom way in so you can really see the noise. All right, so let's zoom back out and now let's go ahead and launch Denoise AI and get sharpening and denoising. Image on the left is the original. Image on the right is the affected image after the noise reduction and sharpening has been applied to it. Let's zoom in to 200% again. So we can really see that noise. So look at look at the left, see all that noise, look at the right. Again, auto detect settings, renew, remove noise level at four. I think that looks pretty good. Hey, for safety's sake, I'm gonna bump it up to a seven. And let's slide over into Joanna's face here and check her eye out here. Okay, and I'm still zoomed in at 200%. I don't wanna over sharpen this image, so. I might just give it a slight bit more sharpening, just a very little bit. Let's go back out to 100% and take a look. That looks pretty good. I might just back it off. Guess I didn't back it off too much. There we go, at a 50. I think that's gonna be good. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Here is the before, and you can see the noise in there. Let me zoom in a little more so you can really see that noise. See all that noise in there? And here's the after. Totally cleaned up, totally sharp. I'm happy with it. Great results with Denoise AI and using the sharpening engine built right in Denoise AI. Well, there it is. We use Topaz Denoise AI to remove noise and sharpen our image. And I hope this answers the question. And again, I get this asked a lot. Is it okay to use Topaz Denoise AI for sharpening? Yes and no. Yes, if your image is sharp right out of your camera, you're going to be fine with it. But if it has uh, issues due to missing the focus because you didn't get it focused quite right in your camera or you had a little bit of camera movement, Sharpen AI will take care of all those problems for you. Denoise AI won't. But if it's relatively sharp to begin with, this is all you need. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it.